you're my diamond girl. You're the one. I put the rock on. You're my diamond girl. at the Shrine Auditorium where the energy is crazy right now. We have tons and tons of the biggest stars. Hip-hop star Nelly has been busy promoting his new album, Brass Knuckles. I'm here in Harlem, New York, where BET is hosting the premiere for one of the most anticipated movies of the year, Indiana Jones. Let's go to Terrence and Sharon in Philly. Yeah, we are live from Philly. I got the beautiful Sharon with me. You look good, girl. Beautiful Terrence J. We're hitting cities across the country, cities that have some of the lowest levels of registered voters. And the crazy thing is, like, Q45 and Takara, they told me they're going to get more people registered to uh, vote than me. No, you see Sharon so. smile over here? But we are just a couple of days away from the wickedest ticket in television. That's right, the BT Awards 08. Backstage, we caught up with top nominee T-Pain, who's up for a grand total of five awards. How do you feel finding out? Um, uh, I got mixed feelings right now. Mixed feelings. I didn't uh, know I had the Tell most. us about those feelings. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of sad, you know. Sad? Yeah, you know, sad for everybody else. <laughs> Kanye West, John Legend, Wyclef Jean, Kerry Washington, these are just some of the stars from hip hop to Hollywood who've come out here to the DNC to throw their support behind Barack Obama. He'll be remembered as a pop icon, a humanitarian, a father, and one of the most famous entertainers in history. When Michael Jackson died at the age of 50, he was in the middle of rehearsing for a 50-show run of stadium concerts to be held in London this summer. It's been over a month since Michael Jackson's sudden death. As the world continues to mourn his untimely passing, controversy, uncertainty and an investigation currently surround the circumstances of his death. Sarah Carpenter has the BT News brief for us right now. The hip-hop community is mourning the loss of veteran rapper Pimp C, one half of the legendary UGK. Rapper T.I. calls himself the King of the South, but on Saturday, the ATL native was treated more like a criminal after being arrested for allegedly trying to purchase machine guns illegally. Hello, Hello Sharon, how darling. Are you doing? Last time I saw this man, he told me about how amazing you are in this movie. <laughs> How's married life? Married life is amazing. How's the experience been being Indiana Jones once again, 19 it's been years fabulous. later? Fabulous. Uh, I love making movies that the people want to see. What did the franchise mean to you growing up? It was part of my uh, heritage, part of my upbringing. I'm a little afraid about the um, Soul Train line. Because I used I'm to, not. me and my brother, no, because you got it down. We're going to do the phone. <laughs> <laughs> you want to feel alone tonight as well. Yes. You guys have to start it. But... No, we don't. We don't. All we had to do is walk in here. That's what they told me. They said all I had to do is walk in here, right? So you look like a real pro with the uh, tennis ball out there. You play tennis as <laughs> No, actually, I play soccer, football. How are rehearsals going? Rehearsals are going good. It's going really, really good. The show is going to be fantastic. What can we expect for those viewers, you know, out there in England? This is going to be broadcast to England. What can they expect from your performance in the BET Awards? Thank you, guys. You was at the Democratic National Convention. Yeah. You're actually a campaign surrogate for Obama's campaign. Tell yeah, us yeah. about that. What is it about Barack that makes you feel he would be a good president? I don't feel he'd be a good president. I think he'd be a great president. Is the country ready for a black Bond? This should be a black James Bond and it should be a black Superman. I know there must be some affirmative action up in there somewhere. Can I mean, you do a British accent, though? When you have a group of women working together, you often hear stories of cattiness and that sort <laughs> of thing. What was it like working with the ladies and these powerful women in front of the camera and behind the camera? Quite frankly, they were ignorant, all of them. You know, <laughs> I, I never work with them again. I know it was quite a challenging role, right? Yeah. Because uh, Essa James actually had a history of fighting drug addiction. Yes. How did you prepare for that and what were those scenes like? It was a, a very challenging role but it was the most fulfilling role I've ever done. Hi everyone, welcome to Beauty Blackout. Tonight we're going to explore the concept of attractiveness in the UK and the reasons why women of color are usually shut out. We cannot and should not ignore this ethnic exclusion that's going on. 
Let's find out why. We live in a society which is dominated by looks. How you look is very important. And don't let anyone try and fool you that it isn't, because we do take it very seriously. This past fashion week, um, we haven't seen a lot of models of color, black or Asian or mixed. Why do you think that is? It's really down to individuals at the top making choices. What kind of impact do you think it has for a young woman of colour growing up in a country where she's the minority and she doesn't see images that look like her? I never regarded myself as beautiful when I was growing up at all. This is just showing you the power of the hurricane. I mean, this is a barge that comes from that casino. Imagine if it did this to a car, what it did to a person. People here need help. This is London, England. But there's another side you don't get to see on TV. Us coming up over here is just like them coming up over there. Yo, England ain't free, that's all I'm saying. Grimy, grimy music, man. It's got, got to music. Sharing the peace was hot. Now, you spent nice. a lot of time in Houston. Was there any one thing that stood out to you more than everything else? I'd have to say the Source magazine cover shoot where you saw all the major players in Houston hip-hop come together for the good of the city, and that's not something you see very often. But one of the main reasons for Tyler's success is that he's managed to capture the black church-going audience over the years. If you look at his plays, you can see why. They're all about religious values, family values. That's been really profitable for him over the years. Yeah, millions and millions of dollars type of profitable. So apparently, exactly. people have spoken. They have. 